Hey guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Let me show you what we're working on today. I'm going to share with you a technique to upcycle these very plain, cheap ornaments into something that looks truly vintage. I'm going to be using Iron Orchid Design products as well as Dixie Belle chalk paint, which I sell the Dixie Belle chalk paint on my Etsy site if you are interested in purchasing there or if you have a local vendor, that's fine as well. Um, but I'm gonna be painting each one a different color and then applying some molds using the Iron Orchid air dry clay and also doing some gold gilding wax. And I was inspired to do this project on the Iron Orchid Design Facebook page and someone had shared it there and they turned out so beautiful. So I'm gonna take my spin on it and share with you the process. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my molds made and glued onto my ornaments and then I'll paint. So the Iron Orchid Design products you see me using here are the Birdsong molds, which are amazing. I've used them in so many different projects. The details are so high quality. And then I'm using the Iron Orchid Design air dry clay. It's really easy to work with um, and when it dries it is you know permanent nice and solid and I love that it's white kind of um, is a fun color to play with it looks like clay of course because that's what it is so I like it for these kind of old world style um, vintage projects that I do a lot of on my channel um, the clay just lends really well to that type of style and so I'm just hot gluing the molds right on to my ornament. I'm doing this while the, while the clay is still soft so that it curves to the ornament. My, dry, my clay is a little old, so um, I had a little bit harder time working with it today than typically. But when it's nice and fresh clay, it should adhere really well and be really nice and malleable for you to work with. My numbers got a little wonky, but I just kind of worked with it as best as I could. And I'm using my Gorilla glue gun to glue them right on there. And now to kind of get this effect that I saw in the picture on Facebook, I'm going to actually do my gilding wax before I paint because I kind of liked the look of um, like something really heavily layered with a bunch of different colors. And so I'm going to let some of that white clay peek through. I'm going to let the gold be next. And then I'm going to do my paint colors over the top of that and then wet distress the paint back off of the gold to kind of let that gold peek through but not be quite as solid. It'll make more sense when I'm done. This was definitely an experiment though and I cannot lie and say that my execution here is perfect. It's not. I'm definitely trying some different techniques out right here. Um, there's definitely a cleaner way to do this. Um, so if you see some mess messy spots in the end or something, just just know I am I am just trying this out right now. I am not saying uh, this is a perfect product and I'm just going to be keeping these or maybe gifting these for now. I don't know that it would be worth it to sell these in my booth just because of how labor intensive they are. If you really enjoy crafting, you're going to like making these. It's definitely a labor of love and it's pretty time consuming. I don't know that you can make enough of them to make it worth your while money wise, but I think that um, just the the process of creating them was really enjoyable for me so i know most of you are like that as well where you just like to craft and i think this is a project for you because it would be really hard to make enough of these for it to be worth your time money wise i'm using the drop cloth on this one that says 25 drop cloth is just like a a, so, a soft warm white it's not the bright white um, it's a nice warm color and now this is the vintage duck egg blue and this is uh similar to the color that i saw on facebook that they use the blue with the gold I think that is a beautiful color combination, especially with the white pe peeking through on the clay and with the use of white wax, which I'm going to show you here after everything's been double coated and dried. So that is coming up shortly. And then my third color I used is putty and you're going to see that in a bit. And the putty color is like a really soft mud almost. Um, it's definitely lens brown, maybe beige and just a really nice warm neutral. So that is actually one of my favorite colors to use right now. There it is right there. Um, it's a newer color to me and at first I was worried the contrast wouldn't be enough but in the end it actually ended up being my favorite one.
So like I mentioned earlier, now I'm going through with a baby wipe and I'm just wet distressing some of the paint back off of the gold. This is going to give it a really nice um, layered effect in the end and it's really, really beautiful. Super simple and much better than using sandpaper, especially when you have a clay mold underneath because the sandpaper would obviously um, take the, the clay down as well. So this just wipes the paint right off, kind of smears it around, gives it a really nice aged effect. Um, so I thought this was actually the perfect technique for this part. Now to seal these, I'm using the Easy Peasy Spray Wax from Dixie Belle. This is a clear coat finishing wax, but it's just in a spray form, which is really handy when you have a round ornament like this, and it went super quick this way. I was worried that if I brushed on the regular wax that it would take off some of my paint um, or just be too harsh. So this was a nice quick way to give it um, a protective coat. And plus I wanted to do the white wax. And if you do white wax without clear coating first, it's really, really concentrated and it's really hard to kind of rub around and rub off and you're just gonna have too much white wax. So I always clear coat first. And whenever I skip the clear coat, I always regret it because the white wax, like I said, is really, really concentrated. But with the clear coat, this gave a really nice effect to my paint. Nice velvety, old-fashioned, um, vintage look. I just love the gold and then these vintage colors and the white all together. And then um, I go ahead and paint the top just the same paint color as before and then finish it up with some gold gilding wax on the top as well. These ornaments are so cheap, I couldn't even get that part to twist off on the top. So this just worked out to be the best way for me. So I painted it all first and then added the gold wax up there, gave it a little bit of an ombre effect and I thought that looked really pretty too. I wanted to let you know real quick, my Iron Orchid Design stockist, her name is Cindy and she is located at my treasure house, which is where one of my antique booths is located. Um, I've shared her information a couple times on my channel because she is ready to ship now to my audience. So the best way to do that is I will give you a little screen here in a minute. I need you to send your information to Cindy herself on the My Treasure House Facebook page. You can just send them a private message. And the tubes that I'm showing you right now, they're actually 40% off because she's ready to move on to her newer inventory. The tubes actually I don't think are, are made anymore, so they're a little bit older. So like I said, they're 40% off. So reach out to Cindy on the My Treasure House Facebook page and she can let you know what's still available. Um, if you wanna look on the Iron Orchid Design uh, website and then find the ones that you want, ask Cindy if she has them and she is ready to ship those to you, which has been so nice for me to offer that to you because before I didn't really know how to get you the Iron Orchid Design stuff that I work with so often. Um, so Cindy really stepped up to offer shipping for you guys um, and I'm really, really grateful for that. So like I said, hop over to the My Treasure House Facebook page, uh, leave this information here, the item name, your name, email, phone number, and shipping address, and then she can give you an invoice in your email and get that shipped right to you. Now it's time for our final looks. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It's the night of the dear Savior. Christ was born on oh, night divine oh, night. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.
by his cradle we stand so lit by light our stars sweetly gleaming here come the wise men from orient land the king Lowly mangered in all our dress, born to be our friend. Oh, fall on your knees. Oh, hear the angel voices. Oh, no. The night when Christ was born. Oh, night divine. Oh, night when Christ was born.